Okay, strabismus is misalignment of the eye, okay? So, it can be a horizontal misalignment wherein the eyes are going in or some people would term it as cross eyes. In Filipino, they would say it's duling, okay? And, uh, or going out, wherein common term people would say it's wall-eyed or in Filipino, banlad, okay? It can also be a, a vertical uh, misalignment or deviation wherein one eye can be going up or one eye can be going down. Strabismus can be congenital or acquired. So, congenital means that uh, a baby can be born with the eyes uh, going in or going out. Although, most of the time, what we see are the ones that are going in. Okay? But, it also can appear during the first few months of life. Okay? Um, acquired means that uh, you get it when you're already older. So, meaning adults also can get strabismus. A lot of times, people think that bullying or banlag only happens to children. But adult, adults actually can also get strabismus. And um, most of the time with adults, it's a different set of uh, causes. Okay? For children, number one, it can be hereditary. So if there's any family member with strabismus, you know, some of the other relatives can also get it. Number two, uh, it can be if the mother during pregnancy gets some infection, so the child can be born with uh, this strabismus. Another that's very common is if the eye of the child cannot see well from any other cause. Okay? So, for example, if the child has an error of refraction, an undetected error of refraction, and because of that I cannot see well, then it can go in or go out. Okay. Um, or if, for example, the baby was born or a child, very young child has cataracts, so nobody knows that you know, the, the, the eye cannot see well, and eventually the eye can go in or go out. Anything that can cause blurring of vision, uh, in one eye of a child can actually cause strabismus. For adults, okay, for the acquired type, uh, what happens there is um, it can be caused by some diseases. Okay? The more common ones would be something related to the brain, like a stroke or even a tumor. Okay? Uh, another is if the patient's diabetic. Okay? If the patient's diabetic, uh, the nerves of the eye can sometimes be affected and it can cause a sudden misalignment of the eyes. Uh, another would be thyroid problem. Okay? A thyroid problem can cause swelling of the muscles around the eye that can cause a misalignment of the eye. Or um, if there's basically just inflammation of the muscles of uh, the eye, then that also can cause a misalignment of the eye. That's why for adults, if they have a uh, sudden misalignment of the eye, we definitely need to work them up because we have to find the cause of the misalignment. You need to treat the cause. Okay. Strabismus is treated in different ways. So if we're just basically going to talk first about uh, duling or isotropia, that's a medical term, uh, that means the eyes are going in. So in children, there are three categories. So the first one is you put glasses on them and their eyes are completely straight. So in that situation, you only need glasses. And of course, you need monitoring because the grade of the child will uh, change as they get older. So you need to change it accordingly. Okay. The second category is if you put glasses on them, it corrects it partially and then there will be a residual crossing. So for the residual crossing, they would need surgery. And the third category is if you, there's no effect with glasses, okay? So what they need is, they need surgery right away, okay? So that's for crossing or duling. Now, going out, banlag is a different issue, okay? Um, banlag sometimes also can be uh, cured or can be controlled with glasses. If the situation is um, caused by error of refraction or blurring of the eyes, you know. Uh, so if you give them glasses, it can control the deviation. But a lot of times also, banlag needs surgery. Yeah. 
So the surgery, if it is a constant going out of the eye, then usually you would need surgery as soon as possible. But if it's an intermittent one, meaning sometimes it's straight, sometimes it goes out. So if it's not too bad, most of the time the eyes are actually straight, then there are some ways to help them control it so the child doesn't need surgery right away. Now, if it is a vertical deviation wherein the eyes are going up and down, uh, then a lot of times they would need surgery. So in adults, it's different. So you have, as I mentioned earlier, you have to determine the cause. So sometimes the strabismus can cure by itself over time, as long as you address the cause. For example, uh, strabismus caused by diabetes. So you need to do, tell the patient that they need to control their sugars. And we just usually monitor because a lot of times after a few months, most of them would spontaneously resolve. Okay? If it's related to thyroid, then you have to control the thyroid and also the swelling of the muscles around the eye. So it's a lot different in adults. You have to find the root cause, treat that, and if, it's, if the root cause is treated already and there's still a residual deviation later on, then for that part, they may need surgery. A lot of times I would see, you know, um, patients who come to me wherein they're already adults or older and uh, they would say that they were never brought to the doctor before because their parents thought it couldn't be treated. They're just born like that and there's no way to treat it. So that's one of the major um, misconceptions uh, a lot of parents you know, have. Um, second would be uh, the child cannot be examined. So even if the parents see you know, there's a crossing or there's a deviation, but they don't bring them to the doctor because they thought uh, the child cannot be examined, they're too young to be examined. So, but that's not correct. Anytime you see um, eye deviation, misalignment, even if the, if the child's still a baby, you'd need to bring the baby to the doctor.